we have a strategy for the future. We are capable, we have the tools and the people to make it success. Let's make Europe a digital, the digital powerhouse. A strong and unfragmented Europe that takes leadership in creating digital inclusion, green growth, innovation, trust, and agile mission based policy making. The investments we make with the Recovering Resilience Fund will shape the future our children will live in and the future their children will live in. We do not want, as Europe, to be uh, a play field in digital. We want to be a player in digital. We want to make sure that um, uh, that we run as fast as anyone else um, and where we can even pass. We're putting digitalization very high uh, on our agenda and we're putting our money where our mouth is, definitely. We want to be serious about uh, mitigating climate change and driving uh, our societies in a more sustainable direction. We need to self-regulate, we need to innovate. Digitalization has the potential to transform healthcare and with it the lives of patients, their families and healthcare workers. I feel the EU has already uh, initiated very supportive projects, for example the European Health Data Space, where I believe it is great to further discuss how can we utilize this project. Data is the fuel of the research of the future. And I think we have a number of points, uh, especially in the European Union, where the data are siloed, uh, when there is, uh, there is access um, limitations to data for research. Startups are not only key for a sustainable recovery in the context of our green and digital transitions, but also to ensure our leadership in innovation and for European tech sovereignty. With infrastructure, with skills, with data clouds and funds for AI, removing obstacles for rising unicorns and giving certainty to investors. And this is how Europe's digital decade can begin. A decade when we become masters of our digital future. Finally, masters of digital. <music>